you want me to denounce Bokhari so that you can put him on trial, shoot him. Why go through all that? Make it simple. Our great leader defends the Soviet people. Here. You do it. You shoot Bokharin yourself. Have you got the guts? Put it down. I've seen guns before. They don't frighten me. Put it down. So you won't denounce Bukhari hmm? when your own brother has denounced you. Your brother has confessed that you, Sergo, gave orders as commissar of heavy industry for acts of sabotage and wrecking in the factories. My brother has confessed. You must admit any incidents, too many. You let my brother be beaten tortured. Bring him here to Moscow. I want us both to see him. It's too late. Too late? Too late. <laughs> you bastard. You will kill us all. No, Sergo, Sergo, no. You won't shoot Comrade Stalin. If you did, the country would be in chaos. The fascists would invade. They would take the country, and you would go down in history as the man who betrayed Russia to the Germans. And the people, oh, shh, the people would tell you and your wife and your children. Everyone who bears the name of Arginiki, they would tear you to pieces. Eat your heart. Drink your blood. No, no, no. You won't shoot Comrade Stalin. No. I think... you will shoot yourself. And we will call it, uh, a heart attack brought on by Comrade Arginikis' unceasing work day and night. The hero of the Soviet Union's glorious death. And we will bury you with all honors in the Kremlin wall, close to the tomb of Lenin. No one will ever know what a traitor you were to the party in the country. And your family will be safe and honored. That I promise. You promise? That's all you have left, Sergo. Wait. You were in the seminary. You will recognize the words. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. This is the book of Job. <laughs> by the blast of God they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. 